G'day guys, how's it going? I'm Aaron Whitnell. This is ACW Sport. Now if I look tired, then I'm sorry, but I've been up all night um, staying awake for the uh, super fight between Golovkin and Canelo, which aired at 4am here in the UK. Um, but I'll tell you what, it was well worth the wait. What a fight it was. These, these two fighters are the definition of warriors. They were absolutely going for it. There was none of this holding on stuff that we seem to see an awful lot of, um, especially if you go back to the McGregor-Mayweather fight. This was just two of the absolute best boxers in the world right now. In my opinion, probably the two best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world right now going for it, just unrelenting at each other. And um, it was, for me, uh, either on par with AJ versus Klitschko earlier on this year or just below. It was, without a doubt, a contender for the best fight of the year, maybe one of the best fights we've seen in recent years. But... The thing that has sadly ruined this and what this fight will be remembered for is the shocking decision at the end by the judges. Um, now, there were people within the fighting world that were saying that unless Golovkin won by TKO or a quite clear KO, that Canelo would get a result, whether it be a draw or a win, because of corruption. And I think based on what we've seen tonight in the way that the judges have called this fight, it is clear that there is something going on. And there needs to be some kind of action taking place because there is no way that this fight was a draw. Now, don't get me wrong. Canelo was great. He was fantastic tonight. And for me, he had the first few rounds. But by the fourth round, it started to change. Golovkin, all of a sudden, that's when he got into gear. And from that point on, up until maybe the last two, three rounds, he completely controlled the fight. Don't get me wrong. Alvarez put all of it in there. And... Against anyone else, I think he would have definitely knocked them out. But Golovkin is just an absolute machine. And he was so... He was almost like welcoming these power punches from Alvarez. It was just amazing to watch that nothing shook him. And you can see why he is this absolute legend of the boxing world. Um, but, I mean, when you look at even the stats... All right, you look at Labrooks. Labrooks um, took down... That you know, Canelo had 169 punches in the fight, whereas Golovkin had something like 215. How on earth is this fight a draw? And I, you know, I wanted to go to social media to make sure that you know I wasn't wrong in my opinion. Uh, I wanted to see what everyone else thought, but it just is overwhelming that it's clear that Golovkin Triple G has been robbed in this fight, um, and it's a real shame. And you know, the, the fans in the audience could see that he was being robbed because whenever Canelo went to be interviewed after the fight, which I thought was a poor interview after the fight anyway, completely ignored the decision that had been given, um, the Mexican fans were booing Canelo. Now, I don't know if they were necessarily booing him as per se or just booing the decision that had seen that this fight ended in a draw because it was clear that Golovkin won. Now, look, don't get me wrong. For me, wonderful fight and I cannot wait for the rematch. It's going to be absolutely phenomenal to see these guys go one on one again. For me, I wish the fight was like 15 rounds. I, I could have sat there for hours and watched these guys go at it because they were just incredible. It was a real spectacle for any young boxers out there. That's the level you should be striving to be and that's the approach you should have in all of your fights. Research Golovkin, research Alves because they were fantastic. But um, yeah, it's just such a shame what has happened at the end of this fight. How on earth Canelo Alvarez got one of the judges to score him at 118 to 110 is completely beyond me. Now, obviously, it's not Canelo asking the judge to do it. It's what the judge has seen. But everyone else is just completely blown away by this decision. Um, now, look, don't get me wrong. It was a close fight. But for me, Golovkin, and I think for the rest of the world, it's clear to see that he did edge this fight. But what I want to know is, what do you think? Do you think Golovkin was robbed like I do? Do you think that Canelo was justified in getting the draw? What do you make of what the judges have made of this fight in terms of the scoring? For me, I don't think the judge who scored it should be allowed to judge in boxing again. I think it was an absolutely terrible decision. Um, and I think action does need to be taken. But we're going to have to wait and see what does happen. Until then, we can just sit back, relax and get excited about the rematch. But in the bigger picture here, do you guys think that there could be corruption within boxing? That is what is really key and what I think has overshadowed what has been such a monumentous fight for the boxing world. And what has been a great year for boxing when you look at AJ Klitschko, McGregor Mayweather and now this fight tonight. So please comment below, let me know. As always, I'm Aaron Whitnell and I will see you guys again soon.